<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas near Lano in an RV park, and I'm still in my 2019 Casita, but I almost wasn't. I want to give a shout out to uh, Brian and his wife. They came by yesterday and looked at the Casita, and he was ready to buy it. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, he may end up buying it. Thank you, Brian, for coming by and checking out the Casita. But uh, there's a couple of people that uh, want to buy both the RV and the uh, uh, pickup, and I'll give preference to them. But when it comes time here in about 30 days to nail us down, uh, then uh, we'll see we'll, we'll see who's going to fish and who's going to cut bait. But having said that, I also want to give a shout-out to all the new pray patrons, uh, uh, Thank you. You don't have to do that, but I, uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a lot of people are giving me a hard time about that. But uh, but anyway, some of you wanted it months ago, and so I've done it, and that's the end of that. So let's move on. And also today, the the noon video might be a little late. I accidentally posted uh, two videos yesterday. I was just planning on posting one, and uh, I was planning on posting the uh, beer 30 video but i did another one about uh, 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 extended warranties <clears throat> anyway I, and it accidentally posted it but you know here's something i thought about yesterday too yesterday evening i was sitting here meditating and thinking out loud to myself you know barbara streisand can could can and could really sing some beautiful songs and her the lyrics to her songs were really good. In fact, there was one I was thinking about where she says, who will sing for songbird? You know, because she was kind of the songbird, but who will sing for me? I thought that was really a genius uh, line. And also, uh, there's a, a guy out of New York that sings uh, uh, a song about making music, you know, and there's a one line in his song that I thought was genius too. It says, I am music and I make the sounds or I make the songs or something like that. Now, why did I mention that this morning? Because that's the kind of guy I am. Anyway, but I just thought, some, you know, sometimes there's a little, uh, there, and then there was a girl that wrote a song. She was, she was a songwriter out of Tennessee, and she wrote a song about songwriters. And you know, it says, you know, every now and then a stroke of genius hits them, and, you know, and that's the way it is. But moving right along here, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. And hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 63 degrees. With a high of 68. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 43 degrees. With a high of 86. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 41 degrees. With a high of 56. Pretty cool. And anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. What does a nosy pepper do? It gets jalapeno business. You want to write those down, ladies and gentlemen? Anyway, we got a lot, a lot, a lot of comments. And... Uh, Anyway, I got something to do today. I'll do a video and keep you posted. But uh, yeah, I kind of got the itch. You know what I mean? So we, we're going to do something. Old dad's going to do something. And uh, But anyway, uh, this is Joe, G E A U X. I think that's pronounced Joe. Frugal says, This is on Beer 30. I had one of those jobs going right for the job. $10, they tell you, you get that. You, you get a raise in six months. $5.25 went to $5.50. Buy. Could not pay my bills in the 80s. Paid that low. No, I hear you. Uh, anyway, he also says, so I'm the guy that sold that crap to his wife. <laughs> Damn salad master. Well, I, I really wasn't a salesman. I mean, I, 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 I did do some by myself, but I wasn't as good as old, old Silver Tongue because I, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> anyway, CL says, your generator is probably propane. No, it's gas. I think, I think, and yes, it could be gasoline. You should know the one you're buying. Yeah, it's it's a gasoline deal. It runs off a gasoline tank. Calvin, retired firefighter, says, I heard you say in an old video you went to St. Mary's University in San Antonio. I went there 69 to 72. Well, I graduated May of 72. You were there the same time I was. Sure was. Kind of a expensive school. Anyway, uh, 
This is Mark, Mark, Marco Polo, Inner Sanctum reference. Okay, you like that, huh? That was on the storage building thing. Deborah, Abercromb Deborah Abercrombie, Crombie. always been money down the drain for me, never paid off once on extended warranties. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, you know, for me, if somebody made a point, you know, you never, I never keep anything long enough to use an extended warranty, and that's a good point. And so what I, I probably won't get one, but I'm going to look at them. But, but uh, that's all. I, I doubt that I'll get one because, uh, you know, that you, you get one-year warranty on everything up front. So we'll see how it goes. I, we'll see. Uh, Kirk Porter says, thanks for keeping it real rusty. I, that's all I know, man, is just be me. Paul S. on the extended warranties. We bought our Class C used, and so we paid for an extended warranty through GE. We suffered two breakdowns while our rig, while our big trip around the country. We got home. I filed two claims for repairs. GE denied both of them because I didn't file them in a timely manner. <laughs> no, I hear you, man. You know, the, the, the thing that insurance companies do best is deny claims. In fact, there was a movie about that, and I can't remember the name of it. It was a, a, based on a John Grisham book, and uh, this guy, this poor little old attorney by himself, ended up suing this large insurance company. And it was a pretty interesting, it's pretty true to life, but it was a fictional story. Lou Godfrey, now I know where Rusty got his wig. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kept one. Dr. Green, four hundred dollars for a plane ride, peanuts, Mr. Rusty. Uh, well, that's round. You know, they, they fly me there and then they got to fly back. My only problem with warranty work over the years has been the amount of time I'm out of service. I do most service repair myself, but what I can't do must be taken in for repair. I found the words cash when done really speeds up the process. Yeah, well, you know, <clears throat> uh, Barb Boyce says a patron is someone who supports your channel financially on a regular basis. Barb. Okay, same person. You're so funny. I laugh right with you. Have you ever, hey, have you ever had a farm job? I grew up on a farm. That's all I did. Tell us about, tell us about a job you loved. I like this one right here, doing the YouTube videos, if you can call it a job. But anyway, no, I grew up on a farm. I know all about farm work. I picked cotton, hauled hay, and all that stuff. Blanche Taylor on Beer 30. Boy, I wish I could remember good times. That's great you remember unless someone talks about a subject and mine turns the w the witch on. And now, why sad but true, they enjoy your talking, could listen to you for hours, beer 30 rocks. Thank you, Blanche Taylor. Anyway, M. Merlin, most extended warranties are on just about everything isn't worth the price. Good luck getting the insurance to pay. A few people come out ahead but most people lose in the long run sounds like you were the, one of the lucky few yeah i had an extended warranty on one rv and it worked okay for me and and, and it just came with the rv i bought uh, but yeah it worked out okay tony venata good afternoon america johnny petraglia good great episode thanks rusty you're very welcome enjoy your day rita ledbetter on comment call not recommending it, but I have I have used my 21-foot Class C to run errands just because I take care of my 95-year-old dad, and it gets him out of the house for the day. Lousy gas mileage, some drive-throughs off limits, but it's kind of fun, and I have everything we need with us. Deborah Dickinson sold her van and is in an older Class C, having a bit of trouble getting it roadworthy. Yeah, well, you know... Uh, I'm not big on buying used equipment. I have bought a lot of it in my time, but if I can, I'd rather buy new because I don't want to buy somebody else's problems. Essence of Truth, uh, he says, alcoholic class C man. Uh, i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to feed you to uh, uh, Matilda. Here you come, Matilda, baby. A little breakfast for you, just a quickie, just a snack. That wasn't that bad, you know. You know, what's an alcoholic? I don't know. What's a foodaholic? What's a, if, what's, if you breathe air all the time, is that a breatheaholic? You know, a holic, it just means you do every. It's just something you do. Uh, Sims Real Estate. Okay, that's a good plug for you. Very uninformed. Here you come, Matilda. Just a quickie here. Another little, a little dessert there. CR, I have done my own repairs with YouTube. Yeah, that's what most people do. I have an extended... 
I have had extended warranties and never used it. Waste of money. Only did that once. Expensive like 4000 Wow. Woo, what a sucker I was. Yeah, well, let me tell you, that's what they live on. He also says great stories. That's Maureen McHenry there. The first one was CR. This is Connie Headley. Oh, Rusty, you really should, could use a good haircut. What's wrong with the way I cut it? <laughs> I'm not worried about my hair, babe. Thank you, though. Allie Trailer. Still using my Salad Master. Best cookware around. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's stainless steel. It was just overpriced. They still sell it all over the place, and it is very expensive. But I've not burned down the house, and it has saved me several times. Put a little water in, a drop of cleaner, let it boil, shines like new. No, I believe me, I was a pro at it. Anyway, Clint Price, your stories and how you tell them is so enjoyable. Well, I'm just having fun. Nana Betty G, I bought an Electrolux vacuum cleaner in 1973, and I'm still using it today. Best $1,000 I ever spent. I paid it off in one year. Yeah, well, you know, that that was tough. You know, they I, I tried that door-to-door -door selling stuff. You just pull into a neighborhood and go from house to house to house to house trying to sell something. Man, that you got you to gotta have turtle skin for that. You get a lot of doors slammed in your face. Anyway, Julie Ochoa. I love your story. I just love your stories, Mr. Rusty. You've made my day and week. Oh my goodness! I think we've all had one of those jobs. God, I've had several of them, man. Man, I've had, I've been I've been on some dead end streets, but that's okay. I survived, and I'm here now, having a good time. D. Hyde. After I found out how the owner of Good Sam, which is Camping World, feels about people like me, a conservative believer in the Second Amendment, I call my Good Sam membership and have never darkened the door of camping world since well good for you stand your ground boy sandborn s on beer 30 laugh out loud remembering jobs i had in the past cherry picker house construction material go for a person construction site outhouse pumping cleaning service <laughs> anyway he's got a lot of them here theater movie projectionist plumbers helper school custodian uh, anyways school maintenance, all kind of stuff. But anyway, yeah, we've all done a lot of different things to survive, haven't we? Thank you very much, Sanborn S. This is Marjorie Harris. Rusty, these were good memories. What people don't under, what most people don't understand is that we look, we took a lot of crappy jobs to make a living, and each job taught us something that we needed to learn as we moved up to better job with better pay. It was the way for all of us back then, and we learned how capitalism works, sometimes the hard way. Great video. Well, yeah, working at the pet shop, I learned what a placostomus was <laughs> and a lot of the other little fish thing. Yeah, there was a, yeah, you had the little catfish, a placostomus was a, that was the one I thought was cute. It's a little, that's the little fish that feeds on the side of the aquarium and eats the, uh, the stuff that grows on the side of the aquarium. It's, he's kind of the janitor of the aquarium. And also the catfish, they're bottom feeders. Uh, William Bingham. Hey, Rusty, while in college, I worked summers and on breaks in a glass bottle factory with molten glass furnaces. One Christmas break, me and some na naive students were appointed to go down next to the furnace and jackhammer out some furnace bricks for repairs. The furnace still had molten glass in it. We were, we were given asbestos fire suits to work in and told to only work down there for 10 minutes at a time. My leather shoes almost melted. Wow, what a Christmas break I had. Now I know what hell is all about, the other Mr. Bill. That's good. Thank you very much. Then we get to Rocky the Rock. He's got two here. Say hi to the goat for me. Hi, goat. <laughs> they, they'll pick that up for the video. Anyway, love your stories. They're, they're doozies. Well, thank you, Rocky. The Rock House things in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Marjorie Reagan saw a teardrop with an AC and solar coming with it. Yep, I, there's a lot of them. In fact, the people that were here yesterday have a that little one they build in Florida. I can't remember the name of it. Paul Harrington, it's, a, it's amazing your memory. I can't remember my boss's name from that many years ago or dollar amounts. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm just, that's just memories, guys. Marjorie Reagan, treehouse or cave, Rusty in Iowa, they turned caves into apartments that cost a dollar a month. 
The tree houses have some have elevators and ramps that go to the door. Rusty, did you really say you lived in Mongolia for two years? Seriously, would love to hear about that. Yeah, just type in Mongolia in the search field of my videos and you'll find out all about it. Tell a story, LOL. I always wanted to live on a houseboat. However, mold just kills my allergies. So yeah, a night or two, but not forever. Yeah, there's all kind of things you'll find out when you get on these adventures. <coughs> because I'm watching some of these people that go sailing up the rivers in Europe. Well, one of the things you're not aware of, there's algae that grow in these rivers. And sometimes it plugs up their uh, vent, the exhaust vent for the uh, engine and causes them to overheat and uh, gets all around the prop. Anyway, been enough of that. White Elk on Beer 30. I ain't drunk, I'm just drinking. Yeah, Rust T. AutoZone 350 an hour. Bought that, brought that on all by myself. But hey, my Ravens kicked some butt today, I, Albert Collins. So you got some birds, huh? And S, Patreon is donations, correct? That's my understanding. Donations are used for, I don't know. I just did it. You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know much about it. I mean, I, I say I don't. I know enough about it. I know more than most of you. But, uh, you know, it, it's just a, a way to uh, to fund the channel. And, uh, you know, you people have been sending, you know, some people send me pats on the back in the mail. Some people, uh, you know, uh, uh, send stuff to PayPal. Or I thought, well, hell, just do uh, Patreon and be done with it. Uh, James Ortiz, one of the best jobs I've ever had was military service. I should have re-enlisted. Well, you should have. If you enjoyed, if you had a good MOS, go for it. If your MOS was 11B10 in the Army, you weren't going to re-up. RB, only thing I ever sold back in the good old days was ganja. What's that? I don't know. I'd just lay around the house and the customers would come to me and they always left happy. I guess that's some kind of dope or something. Anyway, Spiderhead, good stories, my friend. Looking forward to seeing your new rig. It's going to be great. Well, I hope so. You know, I mean, you know, I, I think about it every day. <clears throat> Uh, every time I'm driving down the road in my pickup, I'm thinking, okay, if you were in the Class C, how would this be? And, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm programming myself. Sanborn S, great info on extended warranties. Manufacturers and warranty companies are in close contact. They know when products are designed to fail. It is so sad we have the technology to make many projects last much longer. Products last much longer. Yeah, that's true. And actually, I have to tell you, I'm amazed at how efficient automobiles are you know you, you don't do anything to a car now for a hundred thousand miles except change air, uh, the oil maybe change the air filter a couple of times you know <clears throat> so they're amazingly uh, reliable this is big big uh, i don't know big my big big my moan 18 okay he says r-e-s-t-e i don't know what that is i i just kind of want to know with your casita is there nothing wrong with it no not a thing your casita, why are you getting bigger? Uh, it says making sure, because he's totally sold on the casita. Okay, well, yeah, no, you should be. It's a, it's a great unit. <clears throat> I'm not selling it because there's any defects. I'm selling it because I want to get a Class C, and that's it. Cajun Jameis, uh, LMAO and Beer 30, yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll do a couple more and then shut her down because I've got to get some stuff done this morning. James Stratford, enjoy your new Class C. Thank you. Uh, hello, is it kind? No. Is it necessary? No. I don't know. Uh, that's an old video I did called Made in China. Anyway, this is Jerry Meadows. When I was 13, I had a paper route delivering San Antonio Light. I, I knew some people in Kennedy that did that. The neighborhood was being changed from residential to commercial, and the kid that had the route figured it was going to be bad news at the end of the month, so he left. I was always scuffing around for spending money and looked like a good deal an hour of riding my bike a day nothing nothing to it at the end of the month it was time to collect over half of the people on the raft stiffed me i know after all was said and done i ended spending my whole month's salary on a pair of tom mccann shoes 9.99 i think but anyway that's good i mean yeah poor old back then they made the uh the uh, person that delivered the newspapers collect and that was tough yep because, you know, these people didn't, you know, they didn't know how much newspaper cost. They just knew they were getting it for a month free or whatever. But anyway, 
whatever. But anyway, from Central Texas on a nice day, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the Amazon link, or if you choose to, your choice, uh, Patreon is there. And then uh, what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you, and it'll help you avoid gout. Kidney stones also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water, and you won't want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight is eat less, folks. I hate to tell you. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? It lowers stress, which lowers blood pressure, which is great for you. Get you off those meds, maybe. And then what else? Uh, uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every day. Why? Because that's good for you. You'll feel better immediately, and you may live healthier because of that. So tr give it a try. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let neg negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness right there. All those little neurons are forming neural links, which are you and your thoughts, your dreams, your memories. So add good ingredients. You know, use this titanium cranium to keep out negativity. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. But that's your choice. Anyway, guys, accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. At ease, enjoy your life one day at a time. Carry on. And uh, yeah, adios, bye bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, and all that stuff. Uh, we'll do a video this afternoon and you'll be going to be impressed. Anyway, adios, amigos, bye bye.